Okay, so I spent all day out here placing all the hard lines in my daily, my little ship box geo prism 1995 geo prism thing is still going strong but up here in rusty wisconsin those hard lines uh, were original and they just had it so i don't want to bog down the channel with daily driver stuff so i didn't record any of that it wasn't very fascinating anyway just replacing hard lines no uh, no pre-made lines, bending my own line, flaring my own line, all of it. But that's done. Spent all day doing that. And all the snow's melting off. We had a really hot day today. It was up to 48, I think, just randomly. And continuing with the brake theme, uh, I got myself a, uh, a booster. A master and a proportioning valve this is the the right stuff this is a front disc rear drum assembly I got two of these for a hundred dollar bill on marketplace so uh, I'm gonna clean these up this um, cadmium or yellow zinc or whatever the hell it's called looks pretty good so I am going to uh, make sure it stays good. There's a couple spots where I want to clean up a little bit. Uh, let me know in the comments what you guys use to make sure that these things don't corrode. Because I know this stuff, it doesn't really rust too quickly. But it, it will develop this. And some of that's just grease and gunk. But I want to keep it looking nice. One of these will go on the Nova, one of them will go on the Pontiac. And then I'm going to clean this thing up because he never did anything with this before he put it on the car. But I'm going to clean this thing up and paint it so I can keep that cast look to it. But, yeah. Otherwise, he kept fluid in it. Um, and it should work out good for us. I just want to clean it up a little bit and make sure that this thing doesn't start rusting but yeah like they said 100 bucks for two of them that's a pretty good deal in my book so we'll see if we can get them cleaned up okay i'm about to put this thing away in a tote until obviously we work on brakes but came out pretty good went through and tried to clean off any of the corrosion it had started to develop on this booster and I clear coated it. So I think I saved it pretty good. And then I went through and scrubbed uh, the master up, took the proportioning valves off, scrubbed the lines up, clear coated, blocked off all the ports, clear coated the proportioning valve in the bracket, clear coated these. Uh, hanger or the uh, clamps scrubbed up cap and clear coated it and then I have some as cast paint that cleaned up that master pretty good and then I also clear coated that uh, we'll see if it stays this way I think it should continue to look pretty good I just don't want it rusting you know these masters they look like crap once they rust so yeah just gonna put it away in the tote for now and It'll sit here until we get ready to do breaks.